spotted a minor traffic violation and with death in a Texas jail cell. Tonight, fresh controversy as newly released dash cam footage shows a tense interaction between Sandra Bland and a police officer, quickly spiraling out of control. Her loved ones now sharing their anguish for the first time, arguing that the arresting officer overstepped his bounds. Here's ABC's Ryan Smith. It was an ordinary traffic stop that escalated into this. Get out of the car! And then you I will light me? you up! Get out! Wow! Now! The trooper arrests 28-year-old Sandra Bland. Three days later, she's found hanging in her jail cell, a garbage bag around her neck. The ultimate question, how did someone involved in a minor traffic stop end up dead in a jail cell? The mystery began late Friday afternoon. Sandra Bland is pulled over by state trooper Brian Insinia. Everything seems routine. Hello, ma'am. Well, it takes time I'm told. The reason for your stop is you didn't fail. You failed to signal the lane change. You got your driver's license insurance with you. But just a few minutes later, the situation grows tense. Oh, you seem very irritated. I am. I, I really am. I feel like this cap is what I'm getting tipped for. I was getting out of your way. You were speeding up, tailing me. So I move over and you stop me. So, yeah, I am a little irritated, but that doesn't stop you from giving me a ticket. So. Then Insinia asks Bland to put out her cigarette. You mind putting out your cigarette, please? Come on. I'm in my car. Why do I have to put out my cigarette? Well, you can step on out now. I don't have to step out of my car. Step out of the car. Step no, out of the car. No, you don't have the right. Step you not, out of the car. You do not have the right to do that. I do have the right. Now step I out or I will say, remove I you. He reaches for Bland in the car. And when she doesn't step out... Get out of the car! And then you I will light me? you up. Get out! Wow. Now! She gets Get out of the car, arguing about his tactics, all the while trying to catch her interaction with the officer on her cell phone. Put your phone down! Sir? Off camera, the officer is heard yelling at Bland to cooperate. Put your phone down! She is still cursing and screaming when he forcibly restrains her. You're about to break my wrist! Can you stop? You are about to... A female officer with Insinia on the scene also restrains Bland. Stop resisting, man. That'll make you feel real good. You're a real man now. You just slammed me, knocked my head in the ground. I got epilepsy, you Good. I hope I should good. have thought about good. that before okay. you start resisting. All right, all right. yeah. This is a bystander good. captures her being pinned to the ground. Send me a first available for arrest. Bland is arrested for assaulting a public servant and taken to county jail. This incident has reignited a national controversy. A minor traffic impact infraction should not turn into death. Tensions high after a slew of recent cases involving accusations of police using excessive force on African Americans. There have been enough situations that we've seen in media now that would give us pause when we're interacting with the police officers because there is a potential in which things could go horribly wrong and yes, we could be killed. At issue, was Sandra Bland out of line, or did Officer Insinia go too far? Sandra Bland uh, was very combative. It was not a model traffic stop, or and it was not a model person that was stopped on a traffic stop. In an arrest affidavit, the officer says Bland became combative and uncooperative, and that force was used to subdue Bland to the ground, which Bland continued to fight back, adding, Bland began swinging her elbows at me, then kicked my right leg in the shin. The Bland uh, family's lawyer we are disputing the officer's account. This happened because an officer was overzealous. This happened because an officer decided that he wished to overstep his authority. The day after her arrest, this voicemail, believed to be Bland calling a friend from jail, distraught. I'm, I'm here, just at a loss of work. I'm sorry about this whole process. Having a switching leg with no signal turning to all this. But just two days later, Sandra Bland is found dead. The Waller County Sheriff's Office reporting she was found in her cell not breathing. The medical examination calling her death a suicide by hanging. Attempts were made to resuscitate her, which were unsuccessful. Her family doesn't buy this account, commissioning an independent autopsy. Sandy was a social activist. Social activists don't take their own life particularly in jail. My goal is to racially unite.
Sandra Bland was a social media activist. Black Lives Matter. Regularly posting videos about race and injustice. Family and friends say she had just moved to Texas, accepting a new job at her alma mater, Prairie View A&M University. What raises questions is why it is that a 28-year-old woman who had received two job offers would take her own life. But this video that Bland posted to YouTube just months ago shows a different side. I am suffering from something that some of you all may be dealing with right now. It's a little bit of depression as well as PTSD. We take issue with the notion that she was suffering from depression. She was never clinically diagnosed as this family understands. But on an intake form, it is noted that Sandra said she had attempted suicide within the last year using pills. But when asked if she was feeling suicidal today, Sandra responded no, leading to new questions about whether she was watched closely enough. Tonight, many are blaming the officer, including her family, saying Sandra Bland should never have been arrested in the first place. She was pulled over for something so insignificant and because of an officer who felt like maybe his ego was bruised. Former NYPD Detective Nick Casal says, though Bland was arguing with the officer, reaching into the car went too far. He's clearly crossed the Rubicon, and now he's taking this as a personal issue. And now who's going to win? Yeah, this is just deteriorating, and it's, it's uh, as we say in Brooklyn, it's only going to get worse. This didn't need to happen. She didn't need to get in an argument with the police officer, and the officer didn't need to yank her out of that car. Stay right there. Don't touch me. I think this is a valuable lesson on the importance of having cameras in police cars. Without that camera there, I'm certain we would have heard much more conflicting stories about what happened. The Texas Rangers, along with the FBI, are investigating the circumstances leading up to Sandra's death. Trooper Insinia has now been assigned to administrative duties for violations of department's procedures regarding traffic stops. I don't think that he's going to face any criminal charges. But Sandra's life is over. Her dreams, her future, gone in a jail cell. She's gone from us, but the conversation should not die with her. For Nightline, I'm Ryan Smith in New York. Our thanks to Ryan Smith. Of course, ABC News will continue to track all the developments on this story.